Hey everyone, it's Peter here with GoodyReader.com. On the left, we have the Pocketbook Touch HD 2 right here. And on the right, we have the Kobo Aura 1 32 gig limited edition. So these are both 2017 devices. They're both very, very new devices. So we're just going to do three things today. We're going to look at the ebook experience, the glow light experience, of course. But something we don't focus on too much is the library experience. So let's get started. We're not going to do device 360s or anything, so we're just going to dive in. The library on the pocketbook is very easy to go to because on your home screen you see library as one of your three choices. On the Kobo, it's a little less obvious. You have some big images here and below it, really tiny, it says my books. Or you can t tap on the corner, it says my books. So it's actually not as intuitive to go to as the pocketbook. Pocketbook also has more options when it comes to your library. So of course you both have ways to look at um, your library like different different uh, sized icons the Kobo's the Kobo amount of uh, ways to change things is about six different ways but if you press and hold on a pocketbook uh, book you have many different options here you can even select and group multiple items like so you can click the oh you can click the select and do things to multiple items at once which is really cool because there's not a whole lot of e-readers that do that there's also ways to organize by author like that same on the kobo author tells you how many books are in it same with the pocketbook and you can choose genres collections favorites folders format series book cloud uh, kobo has a very kind of bare bones options here uh pocketbook's a little more in depth so that's kind of what i like about that i mean by default none of these share the same font so we did our best by um, matching these as best we can so on the pocketbook we'll click on the center you get the text settings right here separated in, into page font styles italic bold and then you can fit to corners uh, fit to width status bar indication all that kind of stuff you can also turn pages with your finger swipe tab or the physical page turn buttons down below the Kobo if you tap in the center you get the text options at the bottom you can change everything live everything changes really quick really immediately if you click advanced you get a before and after of what your text augmentation settings are gonna look like you can click apply to apply that uh, as well as the pocketbook, the Kobo page turns are very quick. This is also the, if you're joining us, the limited edition, which means you can do this. You can press and hold the side, swipe into the center, and if you do that, takes a second sometimes. There we go. So it does a rapid page turn speed. It's not quite as rapid as tapping that but you can't even read what's going on there with whereas the rapid page turn speed it's a little more uh, discernible so you can figure out what's going on you can do notes and highlights and stuff like that you can make highlights and if you long press on something you get dictionary um, dictionaries pop-ups like that you can share to social media platforms like Google a uh, search in Google share to Facebook stuff like that so both of these have very good options when it comes to reading books the final reason we pitted these two against each other is because they have comfort lights or smart lights or natural light or whatever you want to call it. So this is the cool LEDs acting right now. So it's very blue, white kind of thing. You can, of course, change them up and down like so. The pocketbook's actually a little bit more advanced in this segment because as you slide, it updates itself. Whereas on the Kobo, you see it doesn't actually update itself till you let go. So then it selects the uh, the percentage that you've chosen. Smart light is something that just came into practice kind of recently in the e-reader e world. It uh, produces this orange, really warm light uh, utilizing warmer LEDs like yellows and oranges and stuff like that. And that is to prevent the strain on the eye. And you can also, you know, adjust it to your surroundings. So if you have fluorescent lights, incandescent, uh, translucent all those other special uh, different types of lights that uh, they make you can kind of match your surroundings they also have smart light automatic mode which basically goes off of the time of day on the pocketbook and on the Kobo you actually have a light sensor up above that senses your environment 
and changes it accordingly. Both of these guys have no problem with light distribution. These are both two really great e-readers, they're both 2017 models, so we thought we'd pit them against each other. If you guys have any other comments, questions, or concerns, let us know. For goodyreader.com, this is Peter. Thank you.